Yo, what is up guys? Willis back here again with another crate opening video. We're going to be dropping about 6,000 gold on mostly these premium weapon packs for 700 gold a piece. I think it's a pretty good deal compared to the 510 deal. I don't know, I know some people prefer the seasonal crates. There's a CQR 2000 AWD 2016, I guess we can take that. There's an Atalanta 2017, obviously a Charlie weapon as well. So, decently rare stuff. There's an HMG 24 AWD 2016, and that's our first pack just like that. 700 gold down the drain. It's crazy how quick it goes. There's a 4 star Kia 4-2. Uh, let's see, 5 star MFX 9 AWD 2016. And another 4 star Kia 4-2 AWD 2016, whatever you want to call it. Uh, or 2017, sorry. Uh, there's a Griffin 12. And let's see, we'll keep it going, man. That's 1400 down the drain already. Uh, there's another CQR 2000. All right, all right, that's two four stars. Uh, even though the CQR was nerfed a little bit, but maybe not exciting as it used to be, but it's always cool to have. Let's see, some far ends, uh, some AGLs. That's a switch up. There is a AGL 660 AWD 2016, which seems to be one of the most rare guns in the series. Um, so I'm not expecting to get that, but we will see. Four star MFX9 as a five star. Yep, DMR17 AWD 2016. There's a new one. Five star, nice. Remy8 AWD 2017. Probably not the most useful, but we'll go over what's in the crate real quick. There's a look at it there. Uh, I think I'm most hoping for, well, the DB15 would be cool to have just based on the rarity. Um, but as far as obtainable guns, I think my most sought after one is the BRW in this series. Uh, there was a UNK, also pretty rare. Um, also got a slight nerf, if I'm not mistaken. In the, uh, the respawn version of the game, there's a 5 star Griffin 12, AWD 2017. It's always nice to get those 5 stars, it saves you so much work, as opposed to building up 4 stars. So, I generally... In this version of After Pulse nowadays, I generally only want to be building 5-star weapons. Uh, it's very tough to be building 4-stars, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. If there's a specific weapon you want to chase, sometimes you don't have a choice. Um, but I'm trying to really only build from 5-stars and up, if possible by any means. Uh, let's see, see if we get anything good here. There's a 5-star regular MK. At least it's a 5-star, get those burners going. Got to start evolving some weapons soon, so it's good to have another 5-star MFX-9. That's a 4-star Griffin-12, AWD-2017, 4-star KG-18. We got a lot of skin stuff to begin with, now we're getting a handful of non-skin stuff. And let's see, we got 569 gold left. Uh, I don't really want to buy a weapon pack, I'd rather save for a premium weapon pack. Maybe we'll buy a gear pack, let's do it. A little nervous, might be a waste. Alright, Saboteur Jacket. I don't think I had that one yet. Ooh, there's a 2016 Saboteur Jacket. Uh, Rider Jacket. Alright, useless crap so far. Four star pants. Ooh, there we go. There's some new gear at least. Four star mask. That was all four star gear. Kind of crappy drop rates, but I guess that's cool. And yeah, that'll do it. Be sure to subscribe, and as always, I'll catch you on the next video. And I want to give a quick shout out to one of our partners here on Gaming Willis. If you're looking for web hosting, if you want to register a custom domain, be sure to check out SiteGround. Use the link in the description or go to bit.ly slash SiteGroundXGamingWillis. They have awesome technology, very easy startup, and probably the most helpful customer support out there. Not to mention packages start as low as $3.95 per month. And so if you have any questions getting started, I'd be more than glad to help. Just let me know and check it out.